Hi everybody, my name is Adam Dorrell and I'm here today to show you how to get information from Customer Gauge into Salesforce.com using our API. And we're going to do two tasks uh, on this short webinar. We're going to show how a Customer Gauge Net Promoter Survey can update a Salesforce.com record with a Net Promoter score and a comment. And then we're going to show how a firefighting escalation in Customer Gauge can update a case in Salesforce. So I'm going to show you a typical record in Salesforce. This person is called Despatch. He is from the Acme company and if we scroll down here we can see there is nothing in the activity history. Well let's see if we can change that. So what we're going to do is open up a survey from the super organization. We're going to assume that the information has already been exported from Salesforce and uh, Mr. Despatch is going to give a 9 score to the super organization. He's also going to click a couple of bu uh, buttons here. He liked the contact center and he's going to make a comment here. Uh, the experience um, was ex uh, excellent and the agent uh, very helpful. And uh, just to comment it in there. And uh, we're going to save the survey and that's gone. And that's into Customer Gauge installed on uh, our system here. Now, if we go to Despatch's uh, record here in Salesforce, we're going to update it. And as we scroll down, uh, we can see that in the activity history, we've got a Net Promoter survey with today's data on and the score of nine. So let's have a look uh, behind that. If we drill into that, we can see uh, the comment that was left. And uh, again, the score nine here. Uh, in this field can actually be edited by an agent in Salesforce and these two, uh, sorry, these three fields are read only. If we click on here on the link, we can go straight into Customer Gauge and see all of the details for Despatch on here. And uh, there's workflow on here, but the primary reason for putting this into Salesforce is so that we can put some workflow in here. So I'm going to move on to the second part of the demonstration now and assume that we're going to do a, uh, another survey to another person. So this person's going to have a bad experience and uh, we're going to put in this part here uh, that the um, the service uh, was awful and uh, I want my money back uh, and I uh, want my <laughs> money uh, back now. So uh, this person we're going to put in the system, would you like to be contacted? The answer is yes. And here I'm going to put in the name of a person, Anne at uh, Burlington.com. Now what we're doing now is the, uh, the, the customer gauge is now looking up in Salesforce for the record of Anne Burlington and we'll try and add the case to that person. So if we go to home within Salesforce, we can see that there's a new case here, 1056. And this is for Anne Clark of Burlington Textiles. Uh, this is actually the case details here. So you can see the description here. Uh, the service is awful and I want my money back now. Uh, the status is new and there's no answer to that yet. Uh, if we go into Anne's contact, we can see here that the case is in here and it's, uh, it's open. So that's how we put a record from Customer Gauge into Salesforce. Uh, and you saw there that we updated uh, Despatch's uh, details. And we also put in a new record for Anne Clark at Burlington. We opened up a case for her, so that could be used within Salesforce's own um, uh, workflow technique. And uh, finally, you can also see here the, the record here for, for Anne Clark uh, with the Net Promoter Survey score. And again, if we click in here, we can go back into Customer Gauge and get the information for Anne. So that's it. What we'd like to do next time is talk about how we can get information out of Salesforce and put it into Customer Gauge so we can survey it and, uh, and then obviously that we can show how we can get back into it. So thanks for your attention and I look forward to speaking to you on a future webinar.